All right, boys and girls. So for math today, we are going to talk about three different coins and their values. And then we are going to practice counting some of those coins. Um, we are going to count with dimes and pennies today. And then tomorrow, we're going to count with dimes, nickels, and pennies. So um, let me turn my camera around and I will show you. For this activity, you can go and get coins from your house um, or from ask your parents if they can get you. You will need only dimes and pennies today. So they look like this. So the dime is this one and the penny is this one. So if you want to go around your house and find them first, you can pause this video and find some of these. Um, and then you can count them with me. Or you can just watch, whichever works better for you. You will need a dry erase board for this and a marker. And if you're in my class, you know that we use old socks that we can't find the other sock to, which is so silly. I think that the dryer eats them. So this is a sock that I have that my boys had and now I can't find the other matcher so I use it as a um, eraser which kind of works well. So you'll need an eraser, a, a marker, um, a dry erase board, or if you don't have those, a pencil and paper. Okay, so I will turn you around. We're going to look at some coins right now. Let me turn my computer so I can see it. I can see what you see. Okay, so first we're going to name the coins and we are going to say how much they are worth. So the first coin we're going to look at is this one and it has the most value. If you know what coin this is, say it out loud. I'll turn it over so you can see the back too. Okay, so this is a dime. And if you know the value of a dime, say it out loud. A dime is worth 10, okay? So dime, 10. The next coin we're going to look at is this one. If you know what this is called, say it out loud. Okay, this is a nickel and it is worth, look on the back it says, how silly is that? Five cents. A nickel is worth five, and then we have a penny, and it is worth what? One cent, and it says right here, one cent. Penny, one. Okay, so we have a dime, 10. Nickel, five. Penny, one. Now today, yesterday we looked at nickels and pennies, Today we're going to look at only dimes and pennies and we're going to count some. Okay, so let's count just pennies first. Let's see how many pennies we have here. So how much are pennies worth? Say it out loud. Now you will need your dry erase board and marker for this, so please count those pennies and write down how many there are. Now we're gonna count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're just counting by ones for this one and you will put six cents. Okay, remember this is the cent symbol on your test on Friday. It will only look like this, but when we write it down in normal life, I want it to have a cent sign, okay? All right, let's see what we have next. Let's add some dimes in there. Let's do dimes only now, okay? Dimes only. So if you know how much a dime is worth, say it out loud. Yes, it is worth 10. So let's count by tens with these dimes, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. Count it one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40. So write on your board 40 cents. And this is what it should look like, 40 cents, okay? All right, here's another one. Now we're gonna do dimes and pennies. And remember, it's helpful when you count coins that you count them in order of value. So the biggest ones go first because that's the easiest way to count them, okay? So go ahead and count this for me. 
I'm going to count it after you, but I want to see if you know it first. So tens first, then you switch your brain and count by ones. All right, let's count this together now. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So your board should look like this. My goodness, my three was funny looking. Your board should look like this. 33 cents, okay? All right, let's do another one. Okay, go ahead and count that one for me. So you have 10 and then you're adding one more, one more and one more. Count it and write it on your board. Okay, we're gonna count it together, ready? 10, switch your brain, 11, 12, 13, 13 cents. So we had 10 and we added one more, which was 11, one more, 12, one more, 13. Okay, let's do a harder one. You ready for a harder one? Here we go. Let's put quite a few of these tens out here. Let's see how many we can put out. All right, I'm gonna put them in order because remember when we count coins, it's easier if you start with the bigger number. So all my big coins are gonna go first and then my little coins are gonna go next. All right, I want you to count this and you're gonna write it on your board. All right, now we're gonna count it together. So we have 10, we're gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have 60 and we're adding ones now. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. And it should look like this on your board. 64 cents. Let's count this one one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Boys and girls, while, while I'm doing this, I really, really, really hope that you're counting them with me. Because if you're not counting them with me, it's not really gonna help you do well when you do it by yourself, okay? All right, let's try another one. Count this one for me and write it down. All right, let's count it together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. 51 cents. And we're gonna count it one more time together, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. Now sometimes, I'm gonna tell you one more thing before we get off of here. Sometimes when you have cents like this, we will want you to draw them. Okay, so this is how I want you to draw them. A dime is gonna look like this because it has a D for dime. A nickel is going to look like this and a penny is going to look like this. Okay, so when you draw them, if you ever have to draw them for Mrs. Burnett or Mrs. Likens, I want you to draw them like this with the first letter of their name in the middle so that we know what, that it, what it is. Dime, nickel, penny, okay? All right, now, if you are done with this video, you are going to go to the bottom underneath of this and you're going to do a boom card on money, Christmas money, you're going to be counting it. Please be sure you do all the cards in that boom card deck. Bye.